boys and girls, welcome to another week of art. I'm so excited to be presenting you with a new lesson. And this one is unique and super fun because I have been seeing lots of other art teachers use this lesson plan for their students. And I thought my Sunset Mesa students need to do something similar as well. So there was an article going around that um, a museum was asking people to replicate art pieces made by famous artists. And it was a really cool idea. A lot of art teachers are jumping on this train of having their students recreate a famous art piece. And since we're learning about Edward Hopper, and last week I read you the book about him, today we're going to do, we're gonna look at three of his art pieces and you'll get to pick which one you get to create um, on your own. So I'm gonna give you an example of what this looks like to replicate an art piece. And I have an example from one of my friends who posted this picture of her daughter and she was assigned this picture of uh, St. Rose of Lima. So this is a painting of St. Rose of Lima. That's what the painting is called. And this is my friend's daughter, Candace, and she has created a replication. So this is a picture of her trying to look like the painting and didn't she do a lovely job? So if you look, she used some items that she had at home like this flowery headband. She found a black, scarf or piece of fabric. Maybe it was a jacket that she just used the bottom part of because you can't see beyond her neck, right? And then she also used this white piece of fabric that she wrapped around her to look just like this one. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, your job today or this week, whenever you have time, is to recreate one of these three Edward Hopper paintings that I have selected. And the goal for your picture is to have a person in it because you'll either want you or a family member, or maybe you and a couple family members, depending on which picture you choose, uh, needs to be in the picture. So I'm giving you uh, Edward Hopper painted people. He also painted buildings and everyday ordinary things that you would see, but he was really into this realism and wanted to paint people. He thought people were interesting. So I'm expecting my students to be the people or their families to be the people in their pictures. So this picture is called Automat. And if you'll look, you see a lovely lady here sitting and drinking a cup of tea or coffee. In the window behind her, there's a little bowl of fruit. She's at a table. So if you were to recreate this, you would want to and you can zoom in, like maybe you'll just do this section. Sit at a table, put another chair on the other side, find an outfit that looks similar to what she's wearing, uh, even if it's just similar in color. Okay, so if you have a yellow hat, then get a yellow hat. Uh, make a yellow hat, or uh, whatever you can think of that looks similar to this. And obviously this is a woman, but couldn't it look similar and you could be a boy and wear similar colored clothing, right? So this one's option number one. Option number two is called Table for Ladies. And this one has a little bit more going on in terms of some props that you might use. So you can pick which part of this painting you would want to recreate, especially if you don't have you know, enough tables. This is clearly in a restaurant. Um, but we have right here, this lovely lady right here is setting some of these things up, this fresh fruit. And so you might have a plant and you might have some fruit in a basket and then you could stand in that same pose and have a family member take a picture of you. Or you might be like this hostess here who seats the people and maybe you have some sort of table or podium you could set up and an outfit like this and you could stand in the same position. Or you might sit at two tables like this with someone from your family and you can dress similarly and take a picture, okay? And then the third option, this one's called People in the Sun. And I'm going to be posting the different uh, names of these art pieces in the comments for you to go and Google if you don't wanna pause this to look at it so that you can print it off or look at it on your iPad or something. Um, but my printer was running out of ink on this third picture, so it doesn't normally have these stripes in there. That's from my, my printer, but at least we got the majority of the picture. So we do live 
in New Mexico where there are mountains to be seen. And maybe you have a space outside that you could set up with a few people and a few uh, chairs and you all could look in a certain direction and try to sit like the people in here. Or maybe you just wanna pick one of these people to replicate. But what I want you to do the most is look at the details that you see in these pictures and try to be thoughtful about what you're gonna create and mainly just have a fun time with this. This is something that should be uh, not stressful because you're not worried about it being perfect. It's just like your drawings that I have you do in class I'm not looking for, for perfection. I'm looking for something that's similar, that I can tell you were looking at the details and that you thought of some creative ways to replicate these pictures. So with that being said, that's our lesson for this week. I'm assigning the, the same lesson to the whole school, but you get to pick which of these three pictures you wanna replicate. And if you have time, you absolutely could do more than one, but uh, just know that it is an option for you to create with these things. And if you don't wanna do pictures of yourself, you also could look at each of these, maybe zone in on a certain area and try to draw it or paint it, or even make a paper uh, collage with people that you find in magazines. Maybe you can find someone sitting down in a table and you could piece it all together. Um, so have fun with it, keep creating, and know that I'm so very proud of you and I can't wait to see you again. Have a wonderful week, boys and girls. Bye.